Good evening. APD says they are confident detectives will identify the vandals who defaced the rainbow crosswalks in Knob Hill, then bragged about it on social media. News 13's Marissa Lucero is live tonight at Central and Morningside with just how much trouble these people could be in. Marissa. Dean, the group of motorcyclists burned out at this intersection right here, leaving behind a lot of hard to remove skid marks. But APD says their next big mistake was posting it all online. The new rainbow crosswalks at Central and Morningside in Knob Hill were unveiled Monday. The city dropped $30,000, three times the cost of a regular crosswalk, a symbol celebrating the LGBTQ community in Albuquerque. But last night... You know, I think it's very disappointing. To the vandals, um, I hope you got something out of it. A motorcycle group was caught on camera blowing through the intersection, burning rubber. One driver even popped a tire. I think it's a shame that uh, many times we see that there's a small segment in our community that doesn't let us have, you know, something nice. That group left behind dark skid marks on the brand new Rainbow Crosswalk, installed just in time for the Pride Parade. We're preparing to plan for a great event this coming weekend in celebrating diversity within the city of Albuquerque. APD says detectives are now investigating the vandalism as a possible hate crime. I definitely think that there are some aspects that they definitely are specifically uh, hitting a symbol of, of, of the community. And, and I think that it's, it's very disappointing that, that they chose to carry out these type of activities. Some of the writers in the group even took out their own cell phones to record. According to police, that worked to their advantage, saying some of the video gave them good clues as to who these people may be. Anybody out there with their own little social media accounts that think that we don't monitor and maintain uh, some kind of presence and, and or receive social media from others, uh, you better think twice. The city was out here early this morning trying to get the burn marks out, but you can still see some of the tire stains. Now they're also still assessing the damage and that will help APD determine whether the people involved in this are facing misdemeanor or felony charges. Back to you, Dean. All right, Marissa, thank you. Detectives are asking anyone who may recognize any of those motorcyclists to call Crime Stoppers. That number, 843-STOP.